Okay, so we have three speakers for this session. First, Ms. Jennifer Crows, who has just launched the session in Spanish. So she will give a brief overview of uh, IEPS Atlantic. Then Professor Saria Wad will focus on the Master in Process and Bioprocess Engineering, tracking project management for environmental and energy engineering. After that, you will get detailed information about the application process with Severin Bigo. And uh, we will have the, a Q&A session at the end. So feel free to send your questions in the chat box and uh, we will answer at the end of the presentation. All right, so let's go for uh, the first part. And this is an introduction about IMT Atlantic with uh, Jennifer Cross, who is the, the head of the international relations uh, on IMT Atlantic, not campus. Okay, thank you, Ravnis. Ravnis. So we will um, continue in English. So um, just to explain uh, to you who we are. So we are a member of IMT, the number one group in France for engineering and management studies. Um, we are also ranked, so we are nationally ranked and we are internationally ranked. So as you can see, we are ranked in THE. THE. We are ranked in QS and we are ranked in the Shanghai ranking. So in the QS ranking, we just reached the top 100. So 98 um, place in computer science and information systems in the in the subjects ranked that are ranked. Then in the World uh, University ranking, um, uh, the THE, uh, we just joined the top 150. Um, okay, in engineering. So uh, we also have strong links with the industries, um, so with companies, and uh, we are internationally recognized in research potential. Um, so uh, digital technology, energy, and environment are our fields of expertise, and we are uh, strongly committed to education, research, and innovation by sticking to sustainability, development, and social responsibility. Okay, we have three campuses in France. So as you can see, we uh, the three campuses are located near the Atlantic Ocean. Um, it's Brest, Rennes, and Nantes. So the program we are talking about today is so the MSc in Process and Bioprocess Engineering. Um, uh, the program takes place in Nantes. So as you can see, um, it's uh, on, on the on the map. You can see it. It's the blue point um, below. Um, so it's quite near the Atlantic Ocean. It's two hours by train uh, from Paris. Uh, so you can, for example, reach the airport in Paris and then take the train and come to the North campus. Um, so on the campus, you have access to student residences. Uh, okay, uh, student residences, um, cafe cafeteria and canteen. Um, you have so the possibility to take the three meals. Uh, on campus for the day, if you wish to, in the residences, you have also possibility to cook yourself. So it depends what you prefer. You can choose. Um, the campus is a nice area, so you have fully of nature, as you can see on the pictures. Uh, you are able to do sports activities if you wish to. We have associations on campus too. And for example, as you can see, we have a tennis sport. So if you wish to play tennis, you can do this on campus. We also have labs. But if you want to go surfing, you have the possibility to go by train. It's not that far. It's like one hour and a half a train to go to the ocean. Um, okay. So, um, just to explain uh, about the international students on our campus, so uh, if you join our program, you are one of the international students. We have more than 30% of international students on campus and about 70 uh, nationalities who are represented here with us. Um, we have dedicated services, so we're here to explain everything to you, but we will also help you after um, with administrative procedures if you need help. Um, all the international students have priority on campus. 
Okay, so for the student residences, um, uh, you if you if you wish to join or if you come to join the program, you will have priority because we know that this is one of the main main subjects that the students ask and um, and they are quite. Uh, this is one of the questions we have a lot. Um, how, how can I live in campus and how is it? Um, so we have also French language courses. Uh, that are included in the master's programs because um, it's it, you do not need to speak French for the master's to follow classes. But if you wish, for example, to go to the supermarket and do grocery shopping, it's better to have some basic French, like to say hello, um, uh, to say bread or rice or all these things. So this is really useful for you. And also you can do you can put it on your on your CV after that you have um, basic knowledge in French after your program here. Then, as I said already, you have a students association. We have also a student association dedicated to international students. They um, they uh, organize activities um, at the beginning and they when you arrive and then you, they organize also activities uh, for for the whole of the of the program. So you can we have, for example, the the cafe French language cafe where you can go and you you can speak in French and English or in Spanish or uh, with other students. So it's really nice to, to meet up with other students. And then um, we are also, we have the label uh, Bienvenue en France. So it's a guarantee of quality uh, for international students. So if you join, it has been given by, by Campus France. And now I will give the over to Sari, who will introduce um, the um, program I talked about earlier, the Master of Science in Process and Bioprocess Engineering. It's one of several programs, but this is um, the focus we have today. Sorry, I, I think your microphone is not is not turned on. Yes, sorry. Okay, so <laughs> good morning, everybody. Uh, I am Sari Awad. I am associate professor at uh, the Energy Systems and Environmental Engineering Department at IMT Atlantique. And I'm the head of the PM, PM3E uh, master program. Okay, so I'll start with a an overview about uh, our uh, program uh, that um, uh, aims to um, uh, to train managers, project managers uh, in uh, multi sectors with a multi scale and systemic analysis of eco technologies, mainly for uh, energy and environmental issues. We deal with issues like water and energy nexus, waste energy nexus, climate change adaptation, uh, and um, green cities and uh, smart industry. Okay, so this uh, master um, soon we will be celebrating our 20 years of uh, existence. Uh, all students are uh, selected uh, with uh, a minimum level of uh, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Engineering in uh, M1. We will see that a little bit uh, later in details. Uh, all the um, courses are taught in English and you have the opportunity also to have uh, French classes to to learn more about the um, about French culture and um, to enjoy your staying to have. And sorry. Uh, so, uh, 
in this program, uh, we have uh, more than 30 teachers that are coming from different orientations uh, from uh, our uh, energy systems and environmental engineering department, but also from the international uh, universities and from different uh, companies in France and in uh, Europe that are related to the master programs uh, topics. Uh, we uh, <clears throat> have two semesters that are shared with the European Joint Master ME3+, Plus, which is an Erasmus Mundus uh, master. And uh, our master, as I said, is carried by our department, Energy Systems and Environmental Engineering. So, uh, as I said, that we our target is to uh, train um, project managers that will uh, lead the projects on um, related to energetic and environmental challenges in an international and intercultural context uh, and uh, in different sectors and at different uh, scales. Okay, so our master is uh, organized into two years, M1 and M2, and four semesters, three academic semesters and one master thesis. So you can integrate the master directly from the first year with if you have a Bachelor of Science or Bachelor of Engineering, and you have uh, the prerequisite for that, or you can um, integrate it directly at M2, level when you have uh, already validated an M1 in your uh, university. Okay, and uh, also we uh, we can uh, welcome students for credit transfers at one or two semesters uh, during uh, these uh, three academic semesters. Okay, and uh, then you, you will graduate uh, for uh, for the um, uh, and for the M1, M2, and uh, you will get directly the um, the diploma of uh, you will get the PM3E uh, uh, diploma. While with the credit transfer, if it's not a double degree, you will get only the um, the diploma of your own university. Uh, so uh, after you finish uh, this master program, uh, you will have different uh, career paths. You can work as uh, project managers, as engineers, uh, researchers after um, pursuing a PhD, a doctoral um, studies. Uh, you can work as official representative, project executive, and so on. And in different structures, like in um, big, small, or mid-sized companies uh, related to energy and uh, environmental um, applications, you can create your own company or startup. You can work in consultancies, in uh, national agencies, industries, and uh, national, uh, sorry, non-governmental organizations, and, uh, and so on. So if we go now to the details of our um, program, uh, we have, as we said, three academic semesters and one uh, master thesis. Each semester, and each semester you have uh, 30 credits that you have to validate. The first semester called basic sciences, it's mainly to give you basics in, uh, in mathematics and in management and in the scientific basis that will be used in the sec second and third semesters who are respectively dedicated to uh, environmental sciences and uh, energy and uh, digitalization, energy engineering and digitalization. And then the master thesis will be um, related to one of these uh, topics, and it will um, be for uh, six months in a company or a laboratory or an institution. So uh, each uh, semester, as I said, is um, contains 30 uh, credits, ECTS, European Credit Transfer System. Okay, you have to validate all of them, and uh, each uh, semester is divided into teaching units, and each teaching unit is subdivided into uh, modules. Uh, what you have to know is that one credit is between uh, 25 to 30 total working hours, which means uh, between class and the homeworks. Okay, so you'll have between 750 and 900 uh, working hours uh, during the, the semester. Uh, the first uh, semester 
as I said, is dedicated to basic knowledge necessary for the sec for the following semesters. Uh, it will also uh, there will be an introduction to management, finance, accounting, and entrepreneurship basics. Uh, it will prepare you also to um, to understand the um, the pedagogical approach for the following semesters, and it will prepare you to uh, protect uh, your work and to communicate and launch your own uh, company. So here we have in details the, the content of the first semester. We have seven uh, scientific and technical uh, teaching units. So the transfer phenomena, energy systems, thermodynamics, and uh, energy and environmental issues. You will have two general engineering tools, the foundations in mathematics and foundations in economics. And social sciences and management, you will have also two teaching units. One dedicated to the management and second one for uh, the organization sciences and entrepreneurship. And you have two credits of uh, French language and culture. The second semester is uh, more specialized and it's dedicated to uh, environmental uh, issues. So we'll deal with air, soil, water and waste treatment. Uh, you will, after when you finish the semester, you will be familiar with multi scale and systemic analysis of environmental issues. You will be able to deal with the projects from multi sectors and to manage coupled environment and energy projects like uh, uh, energy recovery from wastes. If we take, uh, for example, the incineration, the um, anaerobic digestion, or uh, the biofuels production from wastes, as an example. So in this semester, you have six scientific and technical teaching units. Environmental process engineering, process modeling, simulation and control, incineration and waste minimization, air and soil remediation, water treatment processes and water strategies and innovation. Then you have uh, one uh, management uh, uh, teaching unit and it's um, related to environmental management and the strategies you have in this semester an engineering project that you will choose you will choose a topic that will be suggested by professors either from academic or industrial uh, sectors and the projects could deal with uh, energetic or environmental or uh, um, combined uh, problems and uh, as for the first and the third semester, you will have also two credits of uh, French. And on the third semester, that is more dedicated to energy. Here you will get an overview about renewable energy sources. You will understand um, the energy efficiency policies in an international context, and you will uh, work on them to present uh, maybe uh, the policies in your country in front of your colleagues. You will be um, uh, familiar with multi-scale multi and systemic uh, analysis of energy issues, um, and uh, you will get basics of data engineering and how to apply them in the energy sector. So this uh, semester has also seven scientific and technical uh, teaching units, uh, renewables, uh, energy efficiency and services, energy networks, energy modeling and optimization, where you will learn different uh, software for uh, related to energy uh, modeling and optimization. Uh, I forget to tell you that on the second semester also, you will learn a couple of, uh, uh, of software that will help you in the, in the environmental sector. So you have also, uh, classes related to digitalization and energy for smart industry and for smart cities and energy and the data. Uh, there's one social sciences and management teaching unit, the energy management. And also you have uh, during this semester professional coaching sessions uh, that will help you to uh, um, to prepare your present your uh, interviews, to uh, prepare your motivation letters, and how to apply to internships, how to prepare your interview, how to um, how to manage your interview, and and so on. 
And finally, we will finish with the with the master thesis, the fourth semester. Fourth semester. So the objectives here are to put into practice the learning outcomes that you have uh, learned in the earlier semesters. Uh, to get used to professional environment, it's a company, uh, a research institute, a national agency, or whatsoever. And uh, to have also the first contact with the job market, and it will be also the opportunity for um, for a good part of you to continue with the same company where you started your uh, your thesis, master thesis. So this uh, this is a thesis that will um, uh, be led in a company or an academic institute during around six months. Okay, it should deal with the master topics. So. First, we have to validate the content before uh, before you start uh, the, the internship, and uh, it will be in research or engineering fields. So here I have some examples to to show you. For example, for uh, those are topics uh, this year, the students that have uh, they are now uh, let's say two months. They have uh, already started their their um, internships uh, two months ago. So we have, um, I present you three research uh, topics and three technical topics. Okay, the first one is a research engineer um, who will study the steel slag reuse as cementous material at ArcelorMittal. Okay, uh, in the school, in our department, we took this year also two interns uh, who will work on uh, our own uh, research uh, topics. Shipping fuels, the first one is on the production of shipping fuels from bio oils. And the second um, topic, the second internship was uh, is on the waste uh, water treatment and uh, reuse. And for technical uh, subjects, I chose uh, one at uh, Airbus. Where um, the intern will work on the sustainability and uh, environmental integration. At uh, EDF, the National Electricity Production um, Company, um, we have uh, also one um, hygiene security and environmental engineer and uh, R3, a company that deals with uh, energy efficiency and decarbonation. We have also an intern who works as uh, energy efficiency engineer. And here in a glance, uh, just to to remind you that to validate the master program, you have to validate all of the semesters and in each semester you have to validate all of the credits. So 30 credits. And uh, you, our um, our grades are on a scale from A to E and on a GPA uh, or GPA for uh, scale. Well, thank you and I give the floor back to. Yeah thank, you. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much for this uh, very clear and instructive presentation of the program. So in a minute, we're going to give the floor to Ms. Severin Bigo for the application process details. Uh, I have to share the PPT first. And um, so don't forget that um, you can send your questions uh, on the chat box. And we will answer at the end of the session. Okay, so I'm going to the right part. Okay, Severin, it's your turn. Yes, thank you, Berenice. Uh, so now we'll uh, give you more some information about the, the, the application process and the admission uh, in this Master of Science. So first, so the next index will begin in September, September 11th. And uh, this date will be confirmed later in a few months. And uh, the deadline for application is uh, 15th of May. And uh, so to, to apply for this program, uh, you can see the link to connect to, to submit your application. And so you will arrive on a platform, on a web page, and you can see the picture of the web page. You will arrive as soon as you will connect to, to the platform, to the online platform to apply for this program. Okay, thank you. Uh, the, on the platform, you will have to follow different steps to apply or to submit your application. 
So it's a convenient online application to complete step by step. So the first step is uh, to fill the application form. Uh, you will have to to write up to your name, your first name, so personal details, your email address, and the program you will choose, you will apply for. And uh, after that, uh, you will receive a notification to confirm that. And you can so create your personal account, uh, your mobile mobility online account. So once you create your personal account, you will be able available to upload the different required documents. You have the list, so university transcripts copy of diploma or university certificate if uh, you are not graduated yet, uh, a resume, a motivation letter, so I will uh, focus on this document uh, later, two reference letters, so from professors or employer if you have a job now, uh, also English texts for non-native speakers, so English test, official test like uh, IELTS, TOEIC, TOEFL, or uh, Cambridge also. Uh, if you, during your bachelor studies, if the medium of instruction was English, uh, certificate from your university is accepted also. Uh, so now I will so give you uh, more explanation, more details about the motivation letter. So it's uh, an important document in your application. Uh, we expect you to write a uh, first uh, brief introduction about yourself, about your academic profile. Okay, you can begin your motivation later with that. And then uh, we expect you to write uh, information, details uh, about uh, so some topics. Uh, so the first one is um, you can explain so your professional uh, academic activities linked uh, to the field of uh, energy and environment, so linked uh, to the Master of Science program, so in uh, industry or research laboratory or institutions. Uh, moreover, you can also uh, develop your professional activities not linked uh, to the Master of, of Science, it's uh, also interesting us uh, to know uh, in which uh, field you have uh, some professional experiences. The second one is uh, to describe your professional projects, uh, professional objectives, and your future career plan, uh, what you expected job you would like to do after uh, graduation, after your master's studies and uh, also your expectation uh, regarding the master's programs, so the courses, uh, the skills, and uh, so, etc. And the last one, so you can develop also your previous uh, international experiences. Perhaps you also travel abroad for job or for studies, and uh, your interest also for studies in France, why you have chosen to study in France, and to Euro European countries, and uh, more so especially for IMT Atlantic, where you, you have uh, chosen to study at IMT Atlantic. Okay, and so also in, yes, in the application form, you have the possibility to take an online interview uh, on the platforms, eSIMS. Uh, it's an interview with different questions uh, it's similar with the motivation letter, but you can uh, express your motivation, uh, why you have chosen, so IMT Atlantic, uh, the, this Master of Science in Energy and Environment, uh, why you have chosen France, and uh, yes, it's similar to the motivation letter, but you can express it uh, through this interview. And, uh, okay, yeah, okay. Uh, yes, just the last words about um, the follow up of your status and you can follow uh, in the mobility online the follow your your application status. You can uh, follow the, the different steps where you are. Okay, so about the admission now, uh, we organize uh, at the beginning of the um, application uh, period, so uh, monthly assessments, okay. And uh, now we have uh, 
academic committees uh, twice a month because we receive uh, more application at this period. Uh, so the earlier you apply, the sooner you will get uh, the result and you will uh, receive the admission uh, notification. So if your application is, uh, is accepted, uh, you will get approximately the results within six weeks. Yes, between four and six weeks. And so after you are notified about your admission, you can so download your admission letter directly uh, in your personal account on uh, Mobility Online. And then so another point about the tuition fee. So the, the amount of the tuition fee is 12,000 euros per year. But uh, according to your application, uh, you can benefit, enjoy a special rate or fee waiver. Uh, if your application is qualified or selected as excellent application, so you can, uh, it's uh, according to your academic background, your motivation letter, uh, it is a taking, taken into account uh, to select uh, your application as uh, excellence or not. Uh, students or applicants uh, who are um, graduated from partner university can also benefit and enjoy a fee waiver. And uh, students who participate, who attend the webinar, so for students who are here today, and uh, students who attend uh, education fair abroad, uh, we went in Mexico last November and uh, last February also, so students we met during this education fair can also uh, benefit, enjoy a special rate uh, discount. And uh, the last one, early bird. So, so the admitted application applicants who are admitted, if they pay the tuition fee before June 1st, they can also uh, benefit uh, early bird uh, fee. And uh, we have Yes, uh, finally, we have uh, sometimes uh, several questions about the scholarship. So, uh, for Mexican applicant, um, you can benefit or you can apply for financial support from so Mexican banking and educational institution. You may know FIDER, uh, CONACIT also, and the Beca de Zafios. So you can go directly on the website to get uh, more information about this uh, financial support for master studies in France. So now, so about registra registration. So after admission, uh, so you can uh, follow your status on your personal account on Mobility Online. Okay, and don't hesitate to contact us. Uh, so if you have question or about your, your application or your admission. Uh, so about the tuition fee payment. Uh, so we have um, tuition fee payment platform, Flywire. So it's a secure platform for payments. So it uh, simplifies the payment of the tuition fee from your own country and also for a country uh, all over the world. Moreover, about accommodation, so um, admitted uh, students have the possibility to be housed on campus. There is a student's residence, so available for students. So, um, if you want so, to apply for a room, you have to do it online. It's an online application also for accommodation. Most of students uh, are uh, housed here on campus. Then, okay, so um, about the, when we have uh, the list of uh, Mexican ap admitted applicants, we inform Campus France and the French Embassy. We give uh, them the list of Mexican students who are admitted in our institution, and it will be easier for you for your visa process after. And uh, the French Summer School, so IMT Atlantic offers uh, French intensive courses, so the French Summer School during summer. So it will be from uh, in July, from, yes, from 25th July to uh, 21st August. So four weeks of intensive French courses. So we'll have some, it is organized with French courses on class and also uh, activities uh, around that. So to improve uh, your French level. 
Okay, so the last slide so is a useful links. Uh, so first, the website, the link to the website to if you want to give uh, to get more information about the, the Master of Science, Process and Bioprocess Engineering. So if you want to contact us, you have also the email address. So if you have questions, and then so apply also about application. So you, you will find uh, so the link to apply on the, the application on mobility online, the application online. And then the last one is if you have, so you can find on the website on the FAQ International frequently has questions. So you can find uh, several answers about uh, uh, accommodation, about insurance, about uh, the campus, the life on campus. So uh, don't hesitate to go to, to this uh, link and to before perhaps send us an email uh, if you have questions. Thank you. Thank you, Severin. This information will be very useful for, for the future applicants, I guess. Um, so we will now start the, the Q&A session. All the participants are invited to send their questions in the chat box, and we already have some. Um, so we have a question from uh, uh, Benjamin. <laughs> I'm saying it in French. Uh, probably the Mexican pronunciation is wrong. Um, so he's asking, uh, I have already a degree in environmental engineering. So that's the, the right profile. Should I have it translated, converted into English or French in order to apply? So uh, I guess that uh, your question is about the language of the document uh, you have to submit for the application. Uh, Severin, uh, the students have to provide documents uh, in English, preferably. Yes. Yes, the students have to provide so the, the documents in English. If the documents are, uh, are in Spanish, you need to yes to translate it in English. Okay, great. Then we have another question from Camila, uh, and actually I think she has already applied for this program, and uh, she was wondering when she will be able to get the result. Um, that's about our, our admission procedure. Uh, Severin, maybe you want to continue yes, yes. this topic. The next, yes, the, the next uh, admission committee will be held next week, next Tuesday. So you will get uh, the result a few days be, uh, later, after. So before the end of next week, you will get the result. All right. And uh, then Atsin is also asking uh, maybe a question for, for Sari. Um, approximately how long does it take for your graduates to find a job and what are they working on? Okay, um, thank you, Adam, for the question. Um, the students will find jobs uh, after a few months of the, um, I don't have the, the um, for, now at this moment, I don't have the exact um, uh, statistics, but uh, it will take few months. Uh, some students uh, can find directly the um, can continue directly with the company uh, where they did their internships, and uh, uh, for some others, yeah, they will continue looking for a few months after the um, uh, after the graduation. Say three, four months. I don't know if you have uh, Jennifer or you have any statistics. Uh... We we don't. I, I think we don't have a, a exact static statistics because actually, um, the, the the students come from many different countries, so they have different situations. Some of them go back to their home country. Um, some of them stay in France, and um, it's important to know that uh, when you come for your studies here in France and you get a master degree. You can stay for uh, one year, I think, after the end of your studies to look for a job. So if you want to, to take some time to find a job, a first experience in France or in a, a European country, you can stay uh, after your studies. You have time. Sorry. Yes, I, and, uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, and about the jobs, uh, 
as I presented uh, earlier, uh, the, they're working as uh, some of uh, students will go to find a PhD to continue in academic field. Uh, some of them are working in different companies as uh, engineers or project managers um, in the domains of uh, of the masters. Uh, so like uh, environmental engineers, uh, uh, energy efficiency engineers, and in the energy production sectors, in the building uh, sector, um, water treatment and air treatment uh, sectors. So uh, the, the the possibilities are very are, are really very very wide, but uh, all, always related to energy and environmental uh, uh, domain sector. Thank you. Um, I, I think I wanted to 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 add something because actually, um, maybe we have not mentioned the the international dimension uh, of the program. This is very something very important. Uh, that uh, the future students have to know. Uh, we have students coming from many different countries, uh, the professors too. Uh, but for example, this year we have students from Nigeria, from UK, from Japan, Azerbaijan, Mozambique, Pakistan, France, Indonesia. So it's truly international and that's definitely an, an additional skill that students develop uh, when they study uh, in such a, an international uh, context uh, with different culture and that's a, a, a future asset, a, a, an additional asset for your future, uh, maybe international career. Uh, um, Sari, I don't know if you want to add uh, any comment on this uh, international yeah. dimension. Yeah, exactly. So, as I mentioned earlier, also that uh, in classes where it's, uh, where it's uh, possible or where it's relevant, the classes take in consideration the international uh, dimension, which means when we talk, for example, in classes about energy policies, uh, we present it, uh, we present the international context and not uh, the French or only the European context. We have also classes in management and in intercultural uh, management. So in order to take in consideration all of these uh, aspects, and uh, then we have, yeah, since 2003 till now, we have around 600 uh, alumni who are uh, all over uh, the world. And uh, uh, there's a um, an association that uh, that also um, that is active uh, amongst the the alumni who can. Uh, uh, for example, each year we organize also alumni day where uh, you can discuss with them. We uh, we invite a few of them to uh, to present uh, their career path where uh, they are now and to mainly to answer your questions about uh, about the master program and the opportunities after the, the master. Yeah, thank you. Uh, we have another question. Uh, could you indicate which are the universities that you are partner with in Mexico, please? Because I did my studies in Puebla. Okay, um, so that's a very important question. Thank you for asking it. Um, so uh, we have uh, three university partners in Mexico. Um, Tech de Monterrey, IPN and uh, ITAM, ITAM, I don't know how to say, uh, Instituto Tecnologico Autonomo de Mexico. Sorry for my Spanish, <laughs> which is very bad. Uh, so I'm not sure they are located in Puebla, uh, but uh, Severin, you explained um, a few minutes ago that for the students who come from, who graduate from partner university, they have a special um, tuition fee waiver, right? Yes, yes. So I, I think it's a, almost like 50% discount. So it's really worth being uh, graduated from a, a university partner. Okay. Um, just before uh, we take another question, could all the participants uh, write their email address in the chat box, please? Because we are talking about uh, discounts. So even if you have not graduated from our partner universities, um, Participating to this webinar today, 
uh, give you uh, eligibility and you, you actually you're automatic, automatically qualified for a special 20% discount. So that's very important and you, it would be a pity to miss it. So if you can write your email address in the chat box, uh, maybe we already have it, but uh, maybe not all of yours. So we will um, send you a recap information about uh, this uh, master program, about this session, and maybe also the link of the recording if you have missed the beginning. And uh, also we will have you in our uh, database for this uh, special 20% discount on the tuition fee. Thank you. Is there uh, any other question? that uh, you will uh, ask, or maybe our speakers want to add uh, some information about uh, anything. So Severin, can you uh, remind the, the, the application uh, deadline, please, for those who would like to join this September? Yes. So uh, the application deadline is May 15th. Okay. Uh, so if you want, if you want to submit your application, so you have to submit it before this date and. Uh, yes, and after, so if you are admitted, uh, I hope um, the deadline for registration. So for to pay the tuition fee is June 1st. Uh, no. June 1st is for early bird. If uh, admitted applicants uh, want to benefit so early bird rate, uh, they have to pay the tuition fee before June 1st. Otherwise, the deadline for payment is uh, 1st of July. Okay, and thank you. I can perhaps add that the, for the applicants, for the admitted applicants, they can, so you can pay uh, through. Uh, platform payment platform uh, flywire so it's a secure platform for payment it uh, simplified the payment uh, from your home country and also from uh, for or a country all over the world okay so there's another question yes so if my university is not a partner, it will depend on of my grades to know if I can benefit from the reduction, right? Thank you. Yes. 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 If um, according to, to the excellence of your application, uh, you can so enjoy or benefit a special rate, special discount. Okay, the the admission committee uh, will assess your application, will uh, qualify, will select uh, your application as, as excellent according to your motivation, according to your academic results, uh, according also to the university. Uh, you got your bachelor degree, so it is different criteria um, taken into account to assess your application and to select or to qualify your application as excellent. And, just and anyway, uh, yeah. sorry, Benjamin, you, you will get this uh, webinar participation discount for sure. So you will get uh, at least this 20% discount. I have noted down your, your uh, email address. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, just uh, one precision to be just to clear that uh, uh, the um, yeah the waiver will be applied on the um, uh, on the evaluation of your application. It's not uh, on the first second semester or the first year. If you get uh, good uh, grades, you you will have waiver. It's just on the um, um, it's uh, just on the um, evaluation of your uh, application that you will uh, that you are I think now uh, applying. Uh, on the on the website. I don't know. Perhaps Sari, you can uh, perhaps give uh, more detail or explain uh, about the importance of the the interview. As uh, the applicants can take, I think it's a plus in the application. Perhaps because they can explain through this interview their motivation and their. 
all information on personal details about themselves? Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, what's expected in in your uh, in your motivation letter is to to be clear about your uh, your career, what you really want to do after this uh, the master uh, program, and how this master program will help you to achieve these targets. Uh, so to show that you have you really took the time to to understand the uh, uh, the um, to understand the. Um, the objectives of the master and how they are in line with your professional project that should be clear. Uh, you have also to show also your interest to, to the international uh, uh, aspect of this master. It's important uh, also for us to to give chance to students who who are open, who want to work with people from different cultures, from different nationalities and, and so on. So, and don't, uh, yeah, and uh, in your CV also you have to, to show your, uh, uh, your related uh, experience and non-related experience also, but uh, I see some CVs where I see, for example, an experience without specifying any period. For us, it's important also to see for how long you did this or that job. Was it uh, just a summer internship? Is it a student project or it was a, a job in a company? So it's important also to to highlight that in your uh, in your CV. Yes, we're talking about uh, work experience for the applicants. It's not mandatory, of yeah, course, but it's a plus for the selection. And so uh, because we have uh, many of the students who already have work experience, I think the the average age of the participants is around 26, 26 years old. Um, so that's also uh, important to know. That's also a, a plus for you because when you, you you join this group of students, you can also learn from the, the previous work experience of uh, the other students. So that's also, I mean, the, the, the exchanges are, are more uh, uh, interesting. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, we I insist Rich. that it's a plus. It's not a mandatory um, aspect, but it's a plus that can. And even uh, jobs that are not related, any experience that are not related to the master could also give you points. So don't hesitate to to mention that. All right. Uh, is there any other question um, before we we conclude? Um, Severin mentioned the uh, and also Jennifer at the beginning of the. The webinar that uh, we offer accommodation on campus, so that's uh, really uh, convenient uh, because once you are admitted in the program, you don't have to look for uh, an apartment or a room by yourself. You have priority uh, on campus to have a room. There are small uh, furnished apartments of about uh, 18 square meters, I think. They have a, a small kitchen, so you, you can cook if you want, and a private bathroom. Um, and we also have a few uh, uh, rooms outside the campus uh, in the city center, if you prefer living outside the campus. But it means that you have to take the bus every morning. Okay, I think that uh, we have no more questions, so we will end the live session now. Uh, thank you very much for participating. We remain uh, available for any question about the program, about uh, uh, your application. So feel free to contact us. Uh, happy Friday um, to uh, all of <laughs> you and uh, see you soon in uh, INT Atlantic. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.